Welcome back, everybody, and welcome back, Dalek, who went away and then I was back. It's really freaking me out. <laughs> It's that Dalek looking at my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like what you see? <laughs> Mr. Plungy? <laughs> yes, that's his name, Mr. Plungy. You might as well know. My uh, first guest tonight is a huge movie star. He's in a movie called The Next Three Days, which is in theaters on Friday. Take a look at this. What if you can't get out? 35 minutes is not a lot of time. And surrender. Because they will shoot you on sight. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's a movie. No gay vampires. No! <laughs> you know, it's a movie with movie stars doing stuff and drawing maps and things on things. And cops getting ready and the music going... Dun, 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 dun. It's like a movie, like a proper movie where you go, Yeah! <laughs> like the trailer for the Justin Bieber movie. Have you seen that? <laughs> Have you seen that? They said he'd never make it. He's 17! <laughs> how long were they saying it? <laughs> they said I'd never make it. For how long did they say it? About six weeks. <laughs> anyway, not that. Th this. My, my first guest, the great big movie star in a proper movie, Russell Crowe, everybody. <laughs> Good evening, Craig. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? You look nice, good. dear. You look Thank nice. You You're all in black like Thank a proper love. movie star in a proper movie. Yes. I wore uh, sunglasses to the premiere last night. Did you really? Yeah, it was night time. <laughs> you know that makes you a bit of a douche. <laughs> but you wouldn't say that if it was Snoop Dogg or RZA, would you? No. No, sir, I would not, because, see, for I, I would be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> what I worked out is that they're just trying to save their eyesight because of the flashes and stuff, so oh, I thought, right. you know what, I'm going to take a leaf out of their book and I shall wear sunglasses at night as well. <laughs> All right, man, if you can carry it off, good. Fair play to you, that's what I said. Before I did it, I, I forgave myself. Right, that's good, you've got to do that. Yep. Yep. By the way, yes? it's great that we're promoting this particular movie it's on this particular movie. show. It's a good movie, it's a proper movie. But because dun, 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 the, the director's <laughs> name, of director's course, name? Is Haggis. Paul Haggis, I love Paul. He's been on this show many times and right. he's named after a delicious sausage from my own country. You know, when my, when my dad was a uh, pub manager, right? Right. We had a particular barmaid who, uh, well, she wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but I know She what was you mean, a very yeah. good barmaid. Yeah. You know? And my dad had been taught by the old school, you know, where big. Ooh, la, la. Sell more beer. <laughs> A minute ago, you had the Dalek looking at your ass. You had the two gay guys out here competing for a job. I say, there's a problem. Yeah. What has happened to hey. America? Hey. I, I don't hey. make the rules, man. I don't make them. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so this... He's got, right, though. He's gonna, right. You can't argue with that. He's right. <laughs> I'm going to try and avoid saying her name because I don't want her to be embarrassed because she will eventually see the show. But um, she was always asking my father for advice on normal things, you know. And one of them was, was coming up to St Andrew's Day and my dad likes to actually make a haggis every now and then, you know. Right. Um, and so he was, he was, he was making it and, and uh, he had signs up around the, the bar that she worked in. And she came to him after a while and she said, Mr Crow, Mr Crow, can you tell me what is a haggis? Because everybody's asking me and I just don't know. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> so my dad... Can you do the pressure, you know... <laughs> Idea. Give me an idea. I'm sure I'm doing enough. No, no, no. Hello, <laughs> go on. Mr. Crow, like that. Saying, you're saying I'm not big enough for you. No, I'm just saying you, you can, can throw me. yourself into the fart a little more, that's anyway. all. <laughs> you haven't got to the rest of the story. All right, then, yeah, okay. Yeah, anyway, so my, my dad is a leg puller of the highest order, you know, right. and the opportunity, you know, it was a split second thing, you know, you know, could you please tell me what happened? And he, and he goes, I nearly said a name. <laughs> he said, a haggis, a haggis is an eight-legged spider that lives on the rocky coast of Scotland. 
right? And once a year, the Scottish natives <laughs> will go down <laughs> yeah, all right. to the rocky shoreline yeah. with some very strong pepper. <laughs> they sprinkle the pepper on the rocks. Right. And when this large eight-legged hairy spider... Most spiders have got eight legs, was She didn't know that. Right, okay. She's asking about haggis. <laughs> yeah, I understand. On St Andrew's Day... That was just a little extra detail to right, no, it's good, help it's her good. along. No, no, I like your dad for this. They will, the spiders will come out intrigued as to what the odour is All right. and smell the pepper, <laughs> immediately sneeze, sneeze of course. <laughs> yes. knock themselves out on the rocks and the natives of Scotland will come along and pick them up, take them home and cook them, and which is what I'm doing now. So go and tell everybody that, which she did for the whole day. <laughs> Does she know now that it's, that's actually a little bit of a fabrication, that Haggis is... Well, that was probably about 1976 he did that gag, so you'd right. hope that she'd picked up on it. I don't know. We used to tell all sorts of stories about Haggis, which is no one really wants to know the awful truth. It's kind of like... The awful auto. truth. The awful, awful truth, exactly so. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, yeah. it. It's amazing. No wonder you have this job. Oh, I didn't know you were going to be talking like this, Russell. <laughs> You know, if you want, we can talk like this for the entire interview. I'm uh, fine. Considering I wore sunglasses at night last night, oh. I can do anything. I let me ask you, will you be going to the royal wedding? Oh, I hope oh, so. Oh, me too. I hope so. Oh, me too. Hey. Now, is the, queen, uh, is the queen still the queen of Australia? Did you guys have a vote about it? Is she still the queen of Australia? Or she, no? Yes, she, she's the head of, head of state, yeah. Right. Yeah. So she can come over there and drink free any pub in the country? <laughs> no. Yep. yep. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. I, 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 I would probably say you wouldn't find a single hotel owner in Australia that would charge Elizabeth if she came in the door asking for a sherry. That, you know, that, that must be a, a, a nice feeling to know that there's an entire country where you can drink for free. Must, must be, be like being Russell Crowe in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> hey, um, yes. did you get uh, Doctor Who in Australia? Did you get yeah, the Yeah, we did. Oh, I, did. I was never a fan. Oh, you're I'm, not a fan yeah, of Doctor sorry, Who? Yeah, sorry, I've heard you're a bit obsessed. Well, not obsessed. Uh, yeah, a little bit obsessed. You know, you know, for me, there was never enough naked women in Doctor Who. <laughs> Well, it's not that kind of thing. I mean, you can't say, oh, I don't really like, you know, sandwiches. There's no naked women in them. <laughs> Some things don't have naked women in them. Look, I'm a fan of naked women as much as the next man, but you can't. You can't have naked women in everything. I don't see why not. You know, I can't argue with that kind of homespun <laughs> logic. Do you still keep the horses? Yeah. Oh, do <laughs> we? Uh, <laughs> I've said hello to the boys. Oh, have you? Yeah. <clears throat> Say hello to the Vagas! <laughs> You still keep the horses, I said, I said I wasn't going to do that, but I thought, uh -oh. why not? Well, no, you've um, got to do it. You've got to do I it. I talked to them, uh, particularly the, uh, the back end, and I, 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 admired, <laughs> I admired his, his obvious uh, connection with the, with the horse. Oh, now, oh. As, a, as a performer. Oh, yeah. Has, and the front end is what he's connected his, to. His <laughs> inner horse. Oh, yeah. No, yes. he's, he's very, very good. He wears sunglasses at night. He's that good. <laughs> He walks around wearing big, those big fur pants at the bottom of the horse. You see him at movie premieres walking around, sunglasses, big fur pants. He was probably there last night. He was. Do you see him? Yeah, he was on the red carpet. Do you enjoy all that red carpet thing? Hey, Russell, what are you wearing, all that stuff? Um, last night was a particularly boring one. Really? Some of them are. Yeah. We did one in New York a, a week and a half ago, which was really exciting. Was well, probably... New York's good because there's stores along the way. You can stop, go get a bit of pizza or something like that. Yeah. L.A. is just carpet. But what you tend to do, you see, is you tend to spend your whole day when you're doing these press junkets, doing these interviews right. and talking about the movie. Then you get to the red carpet and you do it again. You know, so it sort of, uh, it starts to feel like some sort of torture at a certain point. It's almost as if you had to go to the same place every night and do the same damn thing. Every damn night. But Why a fella might lose his tootsie fruitsie. Mine, after one. <laughs> when I do like red carpets is when uh, my wife's with me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because she, you know, gets all dressed up and everything, and I kind of like that. 
Oh, I hear where you're going. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Naked lady business. Yeah. Well, I mean, what, what you wear on a, on a red carpet is significant, you know, bump above what you wear around the house. You know? <laughs> can you hang around for a bit? We'll do a commercial break and we'll come back and you can tell me about that. <laughs> we'll be right back with Russell Crowe, everyone.